In this video, I'm going to be changing the rear wheel bearings on this Nissan Micra. Firstly, before you jack the car up, just crack the wheel bolts loose. Now you can get the car jacked up. Make sure you get an axle stand in underneath it as well to support the car because you do not work on the car when it's only on the jack. Just going to lower it onto the axle stand but leave the jack underneath it as well just for belt and braces. Now we're going to take the wheel off. Next thing you need to do is release the handbrake and now we're going to take off the grease cap in the center of the wheel. So we're going to I'm just using a pry bar here just to tap it. Okay, there's the grease cap removed. And you will see here that the brake shoes are just about catching the drum, which means that this, uh, this brake is actually correctly adjusted. But if there was any sort of a lip inside that drum, you're going to have a mare trying to take the drum off. So what you need to do is just back off the adjuster ever so slightly. You do that through one of the uh, one of the bolt holes on the drum, and there is a little uh, kind of ratchet mechanism. And what you need to do is you need to turn it. Use the screwdriver to turn the ratchet mechanism down. And I'll show you that when uh, when we get the drum off, I'll show you exactly what the mechanism is that you're addressing. But you need to just you don't need to you don't need to undo it too much, but just a little, just enough that the drum actually comes off for you. Now, using a 30 millimeter socket, we're going to break the torque loose on the nut in the center of the hub. And we're going to remove that nut altogether. And now, our drum should come off. It's still slightly held up on the brake shoes, but nothing a little bit of prying shouldn't, shouldn't sort out for us. Or you can go at the adjuster a bit more, but I try not to adjust, uh, I try not to pull out the adjuster too much if I can avoid it. Because you only have to readjust it then when you, when you put it back on. And there we go. There is the drum off. So now we can get this over onto the bench and we can put, put the new wheel bearings in it. Now what we're going to do now is we are going to remove the sear clip on this side of the drum that is holding the bearing in place. Okay, there's the circlip removed. So now we can flip the drum over. And what we need to do is we need to get that, that uh, bearing out of there. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just knock out the, uh, the inner races of the bearings. Okay. Okay, so that's that out. So that gives us access to the outer race on its own. And we'll position the drum in the vise again. And we're going to get our socket in place and we're going to It is going, you just have to leather it. There we go. And that, folks, is the old bearing outer race removed. Okay, so we are going to just give everything a clean here, first of all, just with a bit of brake cleaner. All right, and a little bit of oil down there just to allow the uh, bearing to go in easily. You don't need to go mad with the oil, just. Just enough to wet the surfaces. Okay. So now, we we'll take our new bearing out of the packet. And the bearing, the new bearing goes in from the outside and the numbers on the bearing face outside. And just drop that in there. And I'll position it. 
the drum like that and you can use the old race uh, the race of the old bearing to actually uh, knock it in at this point in time or if you have a if you have a suitable arbor to use you can use that too or if you have a socket that will sit over the outside the outer race of the bearing then that that's that's a good one as well now the only thing is is you have to make sure you do not knock the inner race of the bearing because you will break the bearing okay so you only you only attack the outer edge of the bearing and you give it a few light taps okay give it a maybe just get a smaller hammer as well so I'm just getting a start on it. Maybe we will we'll, we'll use the and you'll see I'm hitting it around in a circle. You can see the bearing is going down in there. You just basically continue on until the bearing is seated, and you'll know there you'll know it's seated because there'll be a tone change of uh, when you hit it with the hammer. Okay, so the bearing is now seated. So now we are going to put in our new circlip clip that came with the bearing kit. You have to make sure that everything stays clean doing this, by the way, folks. You do not want to introduce dirt into anywhere. So that's the new circlip clip in. And the kit I bought, the Febby kit, comes with a new nut as well, so we're going to use that too. While we're in here, we're just going to give everything a bit of a clean in the brake department as well. So, uh, again, brake cleaner, make sure the uh, stub shaft is nice and clean, and ready to receive the new bearing. So now it's just a case of refitting the drum. Thing of beauty. I'm now going to install the new nut. I'll just buzz it on with the impact gun and then tighten it up with the breaker bar. Okay. Now we do our final tighten with the breaker bar, or if you have a torque wrench and you're willing to look up the manual, better again. But to be honest with you, this is absolutely fine. Okay. So now, make sure everything's free to turn, which it is. It's turning lovely. And now we need to adjust our brakes. So we're going to use our screwdriver, and we're going to use the adjuster to just put the slightest little bit of a drag And that's perfect. Okay, great, right, so that is that side done. All we have to do now is just fit the grease cap and put the wheel back on, obviously. And job's a good one. It should go without saying that this job should be done in pairs, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side off camera now anyway. But I hope you got a bit from this video, and uh, please do hit the subscribe button before you go. I'll have plenty more how-to videos on uh, a few other cars coming down the tracks, and uh, a few other nice little, uh, little bits and pieces coming as well. So uh, I hope to catch you then. Chat to you soon. Take care. Bye. I think it's fair to say that this side is a bit worse. Bloody hell.